Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Not for profit social housing company Johannesburg Housing Company in September launched four new social housing developments which were purchased and refurbished during 2012 and 2013. Megan Waite has the story. The projects, which aim to tackle the challenge of providing adequate housing in the city's central business district, include the Okamba Mansions in Berea, Letterbong Mansion and Taylor's Mansions in the Johannesburg CBD, and the Smitsoff Extension in Hillbrow. Department of Human Settlements Deputy Minister Zukota Fredericks speaks about the significance of the projects. So this is part of our outcome three, the rental stock, where we roll out housing and ensure that the rental stock is being realised. Because at the end of the day, not everybody wants to own a house. There are people who just want to rent a house because they want to rent for a particular period of time. What is exciting about this development is that mainly young people that are living here. People under the age of 30 are living here. Young families with young children at the age of seven. That is why it is important what they have done. Making places where, out of school, when the people come, children come from school, they have places where they can play, they have places where they can do their homeworks. There is also a cleaning environment that is taking place around this building. It's got everything. JSC got funding from the government to take it, it off the ground. They, now they are able to do it on their own. After 18 years of having been assisted by government, they are able to do it on their own. JHC new development manager Moni Mayer has more. This is a culmination of uh, four, four of our buildings, recent developments being completed. The first one was actually completed last year, uh, middle of last year, but the most recent ones were finished in July this year. Um, it's all part of our overall five-year development uh, strategy of expansion of, expansion of the, our portfolio. Part of our, our five-year development plan uh, where we want to add um, 1,500 units within uh, by the by 2016. Um, these four buildings uh, amount to just over 500 500 units. Other news making headlines this week: South Africa aims to finalise the integrated energy plan in 2014, and Afgri moves to mitigate the effects of a weak South African poultry market. The Department of Energy has formally launched the much-anticipated public consultation phase for the formulation of an integrated energy plan for South Africa, which it says should be published during the course of 2014. Over the next few months, together with the Economic Development Department and National Treasury, we will conduct a macroeconomic and socioeconomic impact analysis on the various policy options that have been presented and perhaps additional ones emanating from this very workshop. We would like to hear your voice and have therefore also provided a platform for you as our stakeholders to give us inputs and comments. AFGRI CEO Chris Fenter says that an announcement on an increase in poultry import tariffs is expected soon, but the unclear brining percentage standards are creating uncertainty in the market. Animal protein, I think it's a very tough one to decide on. It's, uh, it's a very uncertain one for, for us, um, to be quite honest. Um, on the one side, we do have the discussions with uh, government in terms of the tariffs, and we do believe so still as we stand here today that the tariffs will be implemented. Uh, at what point and at what price, we're not sure. Uh, and the, the, the uncertainty is not just that, I think the uncertainty is also what happens on the brining side. In other words, uh, is government taking the view that on the one side they're going to give us tariffs, but on the other side potentially they'll take it away with the brining regulation. That's part of the whole uncertainty around the poultry industry. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.